everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode 27 of the Frigate Fracas Tournament. This episode, we've got the P the Blue Scribes, Patarix and Zerata, going up against the Stormblade. So let's go ahead and get the camera in position, and round one underway. That immediate cram volley goes out. Might actually hit. Ah, minor damage, really. It did hit, but... Uh, Overpens mostly. If you applied your frigate, it would commit die. Yeah. Oh, and hit to the uh, distraction skull here. And how? Do, wait a second. How did these blocks get destroyed? What? Can anybody explain that? Because I am confused as to how that happened. Because... I'm trying to see... How did... What? I'm so confused right now. Whatever. Moving on, I guess. <laughs> so that's a bad sign that Stormblade's shells overpinned this headpiece. Ooh, that was a solid hit. That should have hollowed out this uh, distraction block head thing quite a bit. Oh, the gun took a hit there. Let's check in on the Stormblade, see how she's doing. Got some holes knocked in her hull, but looks okay so far. Up oh, those torpedoes. A little bit too close together. The, ex the explosions knocked them away from each other. Ooh, that's going right for the main gun. Oh, fell a little short. Still took it out. Wow. Okay. Those shells penetrated in through this thing... Went into here, detonated, and then the fragments went up through the underside and disabled the gun. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. More shells away. Interceptors try and fail to stop those crams. Most of them connect, but it's getting a lot of overpens. The Stormblade's guns are penetra overpenning the, uh, I'm assuming that's Zeratip over here. Quite a bit. Oh, all that confetti. Huge amount of damage. Not important damage, but a lot of blocks. Uh, overpen means the shell goes through the target without detonating. So it just goes straight through and then never detonates. You overpenetrated the ship. You went straight through it. <laughs> oh, that took out one of the holo hologram things. Ooh, big chunk of... Stuff falling out there. This is right up down to 78.2%. More cram shells coming in and one good hit. Eh, it wasn't that, that great, really, but uh, I, th I think the Stormblade must have taken out the local weapon controller on this thing or something with that one lucky with that lucky shot. Uh, Patarix is still over here shooting away, though. Stormblade's kind of ignoring it. Looks like the Stormblade may have had one of its barrels damaged as well. It's no longer functioning properly. Astrological. I 
I know, right, Exabyte? It, sh it really shouldn't be shooting at this one anymore, but, uh... Yep, and see more overpens. Punched through this thin wood armor and then just went straight through and did nothing, really. I mean, this one is still launching torpedoes, but... Stormblade may have gone dead in the water. Yeah, it's lost all of its propellers from getting shot in the rear by the, uh, by Patarix. Oh, it's also out of materials, too, yeah. Alright, so that's the end of round one. We got, uh, shoot, right. I have to set up a second thing for Patarix and Zerata. Thankfully, they have the identical block counts. So, nice and easy there. 98.4 for Patarix, 75.6 for Zerata, and 85.3 for Stormblade. So that's actually a, an 87 to 85.3 victory for the Blue Scribes there. <clears throat> so that first round ended up being quite close. We'll head back over here. And uh, get round two underway. Initial cram volley. It's gonna miss mostly, maybe some overpen. Nope, just miss. Yeah, the blue scribes are quite a bit different. Oof, that hit to that the neck area there is very dangerous because there's very little actually connecting the head to the neck and knocking that off will uh, do a lot of damage. <laughs> Flak. <laughs> yeah, Flak would probably do pretty well against these guys since they're made pretty much entirely of wood. Ooh, that's going right for the head. There's not... Uh, despite this being, you know, a the head... There's not actually anything important in there. It's just full of blocks. It is intended to make the enemy target it and then take damage without actually really losing anything important. Oh, that water skip bounced it right into the head. Nope. More hit to the head. <laughs> Patarix is going to have a headache after this. feel lightheaded. Yes! <laughs> I like it. Ooh, that was a direct hit to the gun there, but I think it may have survived. Yep. The gun is still functional. Oh, Stormblade has found itself in a pretty bad position, flanked on either side by Patarix and Zeratip, but it has started firing at Zeratip now. Ooh, Zeratip may have just... Yep, they just lost propulsion. <laughs> yeah. Headshots don't mean much to Protarix and Zerata. They don't care. Is Stormblade still mobile? Nope. Stormblade is not moving. She has lost propulsion. 
So she's just stuck in the middle between these two ships. Stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Solid hit to the main gun there, but I think it's fine. Actually, it wasn't solid at all. It hit like the, the outer space armor. Oh yeah, I should totally start a singing channel. I'm I'm amazing at it. Like could totally win American Idol. Tarix and Zeratop have taken a pretty equal beating this time. Yeah, and, and more damage overall. Ooh, those torpedoes are getting awfully close to this gun. There's only like a meter of metal left of armor. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> I get the feeling that the Stormblade has, um, its target prioritization is based upon distance and block count. And that's why it's kind of, since both of them are at relatively equal distances right now, it just keeps switching back and forth between them as it deals damage. <laughs> that's going to be an overpen. A lot of the barrels on uh, Stormblade seem damaged at this point. They like they fire, but no shell actually comes out. Those torpedoes are really ruining Stormblade's day. Direct hit to this main gun. Looks like one barrel was taken out, but... Uh... The other two were fine. Also, the battle ended. <laughs> so we've got 72.7 for Patarix, 77.7 for Zoradip, and 78.6 for Stormblade. So that's a 75.2 to 78.6 in favor of the Stormblade that time. Which means the current combat score between them is within 0.5 of one another. <laughs> Very close match so far. We'll see how round three goes. We get it underway. Oh, that's a complete miss. <laughs> Ooh, direct hit to the main gun, and that's a barrel gone. That's going to be a huge thing to lose a lose a barrel this early. It looks like it did shoot there, but I mean, anything it shoots from that is going to be puny and, and uh, not really accomplish much. But that would make too much sense, Brisby. Why do that? Stormblade can't make up its mind which one to attack.
Stormblade just lost a turret cap. <laughs> looks like Stormblade has it, and it's also lost a barrel on each of these turrets it looks like oh no this one's still functional just only partially that's not great news for the Stormblade Oh, but that one shell that hits still knocks off a whole bunch of blocks. Those are, those are freaking railings, I just realized. I thought the blocks in here were like the metal truss blocks, but they're not even that. They're railings. <laughs> a letter has a meaning? What do you mean, Harness? I I'm confused. Ah. See how Stormblade's doing. She doesn't look like she's doing too good, but then again, Pterox and Zerata are about the same. was an overpen through the head. <laughs> That's impressive. But yeah, this is why the time after impact fuse is really good. Yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to say Patarx is feeling pretty lightheaded right now. I think the scores are going to be close as well, but it's looking like... Mm, I think Stormblade, as of right... I think Stormblade's going to come out slightly on top, but that's with just an eyeball guesstimate. Either way, it's going to be really, really close, but let's find out. 74.2 for Patarix, 87.6 for Zeratop, 81.2 for Stormblade. Oh, nope, I was wrong. Blue Scribes get a combat score of 81. Stormblade gets a combat score of 79.5. <laughs> so very, very close. So yeah, very, very close match. This one's going to really come down to the vote. A single vote could make a difference. So make sure you head on over to the Discord to cast yours. And other than that, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.